How much will Social Security get now, including retirement, disability, SSDI, and survivor's beneficiaries? I have all the details and the full breakdown for you right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, the big question that all of us want to know, how much are we going to get extra on our monthly benefits going forward? Well, that's exactly what I want to talk about for you right here in the video, so let's get into it and discuss all the details and the full breakdown of all the very important numbers that everybody wants to know. Let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. As I am your one and only daily advocate, I'm doing all the research each and every day, breaking it all down into these short videos as I'm watching all this new information as it is hitting the wire literally every single day. A lot of things are changing and we're getting a lot of new announcements out of the administration, the president, lawmakers, Congress, and everything that Congress is currently working on right now, including all these new bills, packages, proposals, amendments, reform to these very important fixed income benefits, and anything in regards to money, checks, stimulus, raises to benefits, as well as programs and anything else going on out there. Of course, I'm watching everything closely, and as we get more details on any of this information, I'm bringing it to you in these short videos so you can stay updated with what is actually going on and so you can grab as much as you possibly can right now during this very expensive time and as money is very tight for the vast majority of people. So again, please remember, I am here for you in any way that I possibly can be. I'm here for you on your team. I am right by your side to help you out in any way that I possibly can as I am very much dedicated to you and this community. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about all the details and the big numbers that everybody wants to know as far as how much your benefit could be as a result of the latest economic information that was released that will actually translate into and impact your monthly benefits. So let's talk about all the numbers. All right, now this is very important to understand because we officially have the first of three puzzle pieces in the books right now. So just a couple days ago, we got the latest economic data coming out from the CPI, which is the Consumer Price Index on Inflation. In fact, just a couple days ago, I was breaking down the latest information as this information was being released and I was letting you know what this actually means going forward. However, now in this video, I wanna break this information down based on the latest estimates out of the Senior Citizens League. And I also wanna give you some real numbers behind all this so you can look at what your new benefit would look like in the event of a raise as anticipated by the Senior Citizens League. Now I can tell you this much, we will be getting a raise. How much? That is still yet to be seen. However, as of right now, it is still looking like it's going to be a very substantial raise uh, right now. So I want to get into it and discuss all the details. I want to give you some preliminary numbers as far as what it could look like in regards to your monthly benefit. We're looking at some pretty big numbers here. So let's get into it without any further delay here. Let's talk through these numbers. And then on the other side of these numbers, which by the way, should only take like a minute to run through these numbers here. On the other side of these numbers, I want to talk through some other further details that we need to understand as well. Now, full disclaimer, this is uh, uh, as a result of the announcement out of the Senior Citizens League, where they're anticipating as a result of the latest inflation data, a 9.6% raise to monthly benefits as a result of the annual raise to benefits based on the most recent inflation data. So to be totally fair, the official announcement will be coming out of Social Security in about two months time from right now, but uh, this is the preliminary information coming out of the Senior Citizens League, and we do know this is this raise is going to be very, very big. Regardless of how you cut it, it's going to be a big raise. So this could be adjusted higher or lower, just to be totally fair, but let me give you the numbers here based on this preliminary information and what they're actually anticipating right now because we're looking at some pretty substantial numbers here. All right, so uh, let's, walk through, uh, let's walk through some general round numbers here. Now, again, I completely understand that everybody receives virtually a different benefit. Somebody might receive a $500 benefit. Someone might receive a 521 benefit. Somebody else might receive a $921 benefit. Somebody else could receive a $1,013 benefit. I totally understand. The benefits are different across the board. However, I'm going to break this down and give you some round numbers. These round numbers that I'm going to give you should get you within just a couple dollars of where your benefit would actually land in the event of this percentage raise of 9.6%. So when we do actually get the official announcement out of Social Security, of course, I can come back here 
and I can break it all down for you and give you very specific numbers. But again, I just wanna give you come some round estimates as of right now, and I think this will get you within just a couple dollars of where you would actually land anyway, based on whatever your benefit actually is. So anyway, with that being said, let's run through the numbers quickly here, and then we can talk about some other details on the other side here. All right, so in the event of a $600 benefit, if you're currently receiving a $600 benefit, applying a potential 9.6% raise to that benefit, it would actually raise your benefits by 50 $57 every single month from $600 to $657 every single month. Not bad, right? All right, now if you're receiving a $700 benefit, applying a potential 9.6% raise to your $700 benefit would raise your benefits by $67 per month from $700 currently up to $767 per month. And again, Based on what your benefit actually is, it, of course, it's gonna be a little bit different for everybody, but this is, again, just based on some round general numbers to get you within about $4 or so of where your benefit would actually land anyway. So again, just wanna make that very clear. All right, now next, let's talk about an $800 benefit. If you're receiving an $800 benefit currently, applying a potential 9.6% raise to that monthly benefit, you'd be looking at a $76 monthly raise to your benefit from 800 to 876 per month. Again, looking pretty nice. You're almost at $900. It's pretty nice right there. All right, now, if you're receiving a $900 benefit currently, applying a 9.6% uh, potential raise to that benefit, your benefits would actually be increased by $86 every single month. Again, not bad. From $900 up to $986 every single month. That's pretty substantial right there. All right, now next, a $1,000 benefit. If you're receiving a $1,000 benefit currently, applying a potential 9.6% raise to that $1,000 would raise your benefits by $96 every single month from $1,000 up to $1,096. So I'm gonna leave it there for now, but again, we can always come back and talk about more numbers as we get uh, going further. But this should get you a general idea of what your benefit would look like. You can see here across the board, some pretty nice benefit raises, right? Depending on which kind of scale that you're in right there. And again, everybody's benefit is very different and the, the actual raise to your benefit is going to be different for everybody. But based on these raises here, you can see even the lowest benefit that I talked about, $600, even a $57 per month raise to your benefit would still translate into about $700 um, uh, per, per year more, even on a $600 benefit. So Pretty substantial, and even somebody receiving a uh, you know a, a one thousand dollar benefit and a nine hundred or sorry a ninety six dollar raise per month would still translate into about a little bit over one thousand one hundred dollars per year uh, for that benefit raise. So again, pretty substantial stuff we're talking about right here. In fact, this is probably going to be the third largest raise in the history of Social Security when it comes down to the raises for the cola, right? At least the biggest raise that we've seen since nineteen eighty one. So what forty one years ago? A long time ago, right? So we're talking about some pretty serious stuff here. All right, now next, let's quickly talk about Medicare Part B premiums. I know that this is a big one. However, this year may be a little bit of a different situation. I know, it's hard to believe. I'm right there with you. Don't worry. I totally am very skeptical about this as well. But based on the information that we've been seeing here over the last several months, we've been hearing many people come out and talking about this saying, there's likely not going to be a raise to the Medicare Part B premium when it uh, is announced in, uh, in November. Now, again, I'm very skeptical about that. We will see about that, as I always like to say, right? We'll see. Let's see if they follow through with their word or if they come up with a million different excuses for why they need to raise benefits by some, you know, not so uh, increase like 14.5%, like what we're experiencing right now in 2022. So we'll have to see what that raise is actually going to be in 2023 for the Medicare Part B premium. However, as a result of the massive raise that we're actually paying for right now in 2022, the 14.5% or $21.60 extra right now for Medicare Part B premiums, uh, according to what they've been telling us is that about half of that monthly benefit right now that we're paying for, about $11 of that, is actually going toward the benefit uh, increase that we're going to be paying for next year. So again, the, the, the experts, the people that are behind this have been coming out saying over the last few months here throughout the year and have been saying that as a result of that extra benefit that they're collecting right, or sorry, not benefit, the extra premium that they're collecting right now this year in 2022 would actually be applied for 2023. Therefore, we could be seeing the Medicare Part B premium stay flat as in 
the exact same, not change. It could possibly go down a little tiny bit, or possibly if it does go up, they've said it's only going to go up a teeny tiny bit. And again, I'm very skeptical about it because honestly, we've heard this, this song and dance before. We've heard this whole thing before. And then before we know it, all of a sudden they raise up a bunch of uh, the premium, you know, 6%, 7, 8, 10%, something like this. And then they have some great excuse for it. So we'll see what actually happens here going forward. But these official announcements will be out of Social Security in mid-October for the COLA and in November for the Medicare Part B premium increase or hopefully decrease. That'd be much better, right? Let's just cross our fingers that the Medicare Part B premium actually decreases for 2023. We will see if that actually happens. Worst case scenario, I guess, even if it stays flat at where it currently is right now, $170.10, even if it stays flat, I feel like that should still be chalked up as a win because if if anything happens to the Medicare Part B premium, other than going up, if it stays flat and or goes down, I feel like we should still count that as a win because if they're not taking any additional money from us, then I feel like, hey, it's a win, right? That's to me, in my opinion anyway, but again, everybody has their own opinions on this and that's totally fine. I'm just simply saying if they don't take any more money from us, I feel like we should be happy, right? <laughs> we should be very happy that they're not taking any more money from us in the form of premiums uh, when it comes to the Medicare Part B premium increase or hopefully decrease. So anyway, this is what it comes down to as of right now. We will get those official announcements out of Social Security in mid-October and of course in from CMS in early November as well. As we do get those details and all this announcement, of course, I'll be right here for you breaking it all down. But I want to bring this information to you, break it all down and let you know what your benefit could look like as a result of this preliminary information uh, based on the Senior Citizens League and what they recently announced based on the most recent inflation data that was just released a few days ago. Coming in at 8.5 percent headline and 9.1 percent cpi and 9.6 percent as projected by the senior citizens league so it's going to be adjusting a little bit for uh, more as we go forward over the next two months or what i should say more realistically is the next two inflation reports that will be coming out here in mid uh, september and mid october those will be very very important reports because those are the last two puzzle pieces that we will need to determine how much the raise is going to be for fixed income beneficiaries that i've been mentioning throughout this video so uh, yeah, hope that one helps you out. Anyway, as I do get more details, I'll be here for you, helping you out in any way that I can, but keeping you updated and, of course, uh, helping you to kind of navigate this very confusing and very busy time. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos right here on the channel. Until next time, have a good one, enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.